Hey, how's it going everyone? So I am at my storage facility right now. I keep all of my inventory here. I have 16 items that I need to go ahead and pull and ship out. So I'm gonna head inside and get to work. So we're here at the storage unit. I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling orders and I'm gonna put them into the IKEA bag that I brought with me. A lot of you guys have been asking about my storage unit. So here it is. It's a 10 by 10 locker. The majority of my stuff that I've listed is inventoried right here. Um, I still have a bit of room like this bin down here. Has a lot of space that I can utilize. Got shoes inventoried here. Got a little bit of room to squeeze a few more pairs. Um, this one, I could probably stack like two more pairs here. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like random assortment of stuff. Got my clothing. I can fit a lot of clothing into each bin here. And it's kind of nice because it's see-through. So um, when I'm looking for inventory, I can kind of do a quick scan to see if I spot it and it'll make it easier to pull. Um, you can see there's a few holes here as well. But once I completely max out the bins here, I'll continue the alphabet. So I have uh, P, Q, R down there and I'll just have to reorganize and play a little bit of Tetris here um, and just continue the alphabet with more bins across the line. This side here, it's a combination of stuff that needs to get listed and like these three bins here um, like this bin here of shoes needs to get inventoried um, these items here need to get inventoried as well as that um, just kind of like a random pile of stuff and yeah that's my storage locker i'm paying 160 dollars month to month no contract um, that $160 includes insurance and this storage locker, this 10 by 10 is just a complete necessity for me. Um, the place I live in right now, just I just don't have the storage space um, to hold all of this inventory. So for my business, this is a necessity and um, the money I'm spending to rent this every month. Um, it's worth it. I mean, this space here has helped me grow my business and I still have a lot of room to work with, a lot of room to grow. Um, with this 10 by 10 storage locker. So I don't think I need to upgrade this space um, At least not anytime soon. So so yeah, let's go ahead and start pulling orders here This first item here is a vineyard vines men's button-down shirt a size large sold for $27. It's in the J1 bin and if you look at the inventory here um, I started moving away from Specific numbers. So here I can show you here in the J or G1 bin um, you can see I have for this glove like G1-02 the G1 tells me which bin it's at and the 02 is just like a specific item number to help find it faster I've actually moved away from that it was just getting too time consuming so um, I just do the bin now so in the SKU I just put J1 and that tells me which bin to look at to pull the item and you know it's sometimes more time consuming to dig through this entire bin here but I mean up front I'm saving a lot of time it's faster to inventory this way and honestly um, so I see two vineyard vines it's this one so it's this one right here so it is you know sometimes more time consuming to pull items but I mean it really isn't that much more time so that's kind of what I'm doing like you can see I don't have the yellow sticky um, the sticky note on here with the specific item number um, yeah so that's how I've been doing it these days next items in the D1 bin try to pull that down and I see it right here it's this Ralph Lauren this is a big and tall 3XLT and it's sold for $32.29 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next item you can see is in the H1 bin. It is a new era golf hat. It has like this cool little USA emblem on it. 
This here was retail arbitrage. I think I paid like five or six bucks off clearance and it's been sitting in my store for about a year. Um, but this sold for $21.24. Um, you can actually see it right here, the little new era emblem. So that's another thing why I love clear bins. It helps me kind of identify items before I even look into it. So um, just pull this one up right here. Has a little USA emblem and yeah. It's that easy. So I just grabbed this piece. This is a Carhartt men's quarter zip uh, long sleeve sweater. I actually just pulled it from this bin here. Um, this is just like recently listed inventory that I haven't had a chance to inventory. So this was just still sitting in there. And this sold for $32.29 and the buyer paid for shipping. And um, this one was a thrift store find. Picked it up like two weeks ago maybe. Um, for $6.99 I believe. So we got a lot of two Lord of the Ring video games for the Nintendo GameCube. This is Return of the King and the Two Towers. I just bundled them together. Um, this one um, I disclosed in the listing. You can see it's missing its plastic protective cover. So the cover is just taped on on the edges right here. So um, things like that I'll just disclose in the listing and just sell it like that. But this bundle here, um, I got this from one of the local bulk purchases um, that I did recently. This sold for $16.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. This sale here is a loose PlayStation 1 game. It's Muppet Race Mania and I have these little brown sleeves. Um, if you go to my Amazon storefront that's linked in my video description, um, you can see um, most of the products that I use in my eBay business. But loose sticks, I'll just I just bought these like little cardboard sleeves to protect them. Um, this here, nothing too crazy, sold for eight dollars and thirty-two cents, free shipping. This item here is a pair of men's Nike Flex running shoes. Um, this was retail arbitrage. They were on clearance for twenty dollars, and I took a best offer of fifty dollars, and the buyer paid for shipping. So this next item is a ten-pack IBM floppy disk. So. I guess there's still people that are using floppy disks. Um, so I went ahead, I found this beforehand, but this is the item right here. And I just put my phone away, so let me check. This sold for $21.24. And we actually have a Poshmark sale. It's been a really long time since I've had one of those. I was taking a break from it, um, just recently trying to get back into Poshmark. But the SKU is E1-25, I actually see it right here. This is a men's golf polo short sleeve. Um, the brand is RLX Ralph Lauren, which has always done really well for me. Um, you can see the skew right here. I'll try to bring it into the light for you. Um, it has this little like Hermes feet emblem with the two golf clubs. RLX Ralph Lauren golf polo. Um, like I said, a really good brand. Um, I took a best offer. This was a thrift store find and I sold it for $30 over on Poshmark. This next item here is a men's Bugatti Yomo button front shirt. Just a very basic striped black long sleeve. I took a best offer for this one for $20. Honestly, I just wanted to move this piece and I was okay with taking that offer here. So another piece that hasn't been inventoried yet. This here is an Untuck It, a really good size, a 3XL. This was a thrift store find. Picked it up pretty recently for $6 and... 29 cents um, and this here untuck it really good brand sold for $42.49 and the buyer paid for shipping so this item here nothing too crazy it's an audiobook it was brand new sealed so it was super easy to list hard stopper by joy fielding um, this is part of a big bulk purchase I made so I don't have too much into this item here um, this here sold for $7.47 and the buyer paid for shipping Next item we have, it's L111, it's the SKU that I gave it, paid $2.99. It's a Spalding leather glove, baseball glove, sold for $16.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. So let's go ahead and grab that L111, um, yeah, it's right here. L111, I swear I did not stage it, it was right here. Um, L111, this baseball glove right here. And a lot of baseball equipment, spring sports stuff, is starting to sell. So if you have any in your death pile, go ahead and start listing it quickly. So the next item I sold, the SKU, is B116. I don't know if this is going to come up clearly on the camera, but you can see there are two items next to it. That's the cost of goods and the date listed. Um, so I put all that information in the custom SKU label. 
Um, but this was a retail arbitrage. I paid $20 and I listed it on July 31st, 2019. So this item has been listed for a while. Um, and I finally sold a pair of white RLX Ralph Lauren golf pants sold for $46.74. So um, short term memory loss. This queue is B116. Um, let's go ahead and grab it. So it's this bin up here. Um, this is probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna try to <laughs> pull this down with one hand. Um, you think I'm gonna drop this or not? Let's see. It's not very full and it's with clothing, so it shouldn't be too heavy. All right. Skills. Boom, easy. Not really, kind of sketchy. But B116, white RLX golf pants. All right, so another item I picked up fairly recently. This is an untuck it men's button front. This was the one with that weird collar I was talking about, the banded collar. Um, so definitely a unique piece. This sold for $33.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. So this next sale here is a lot of four Star Wars, just like small action figures. Um, I didn't even realize I had this listed to be completely honest. Just, just looking at the photo, I can tell it's a super old listing. It's probably been listed for over a year now. Um, but this here sold for $9.55 and the buyer paid for shipping. All right, so I have all of the items that I need to pack and ship out today. So I'm gonna take all that back home and do that. And I'm actually going to spend a little bit of time today inventorying items. Um, like I mentioned, I have a couple of bins here that are not into the bin system. Um, I just haven't had time. And that's kind of like one of the biggest struggles that I'm trying to figure out with the storage unit. I feel like inventorying items is the thing that I keep falling behind on. It's just, you know, when I'm listing at home, I'm just... I'm just not sure you know what this looks like so i just don't remember that i had space in g1 i don't remember that b1 and c1 are half full um so i don't assign a SKU number when i'm listing at home and i just throw them in bins and what ends up happening is um they just sit here if one of these items sell i just go off of memory or i just dig through and pull the item so not efficient at all so I'm gonna work on this bin here actually. So I'm gonna pull this over and I have my laptop here and there's no Wi-Fi at the storage facility. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my phone as a hotspot. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna turn on my hotspot, use that as my Wi-Fi router. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and inventory a couple of items here. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I do. Um, I'll just do one item on camera and then do the rest off camera, but I figured I'd show you guys kind of like the behind the scenes um, look at how I do that. So I went ahead and brought down the B1 bin just because there's a lot of room to work with. So B1, it's about like 20% full. So a lot of room to work with here. So I'm gonna start throwing items in here and assigning uh, SKU numbers. Um, you can look up here. There's just a row that says item title contains and you can filter um, your listings that way by item title. So I have this Polaroid sweater here. Um, so depending on the brand or item, I'll just type in a few keywords to pull up that listing. So I'm gonna type in Polaroid right here. So item value, Polo, how do you spell this? Polaroid. Okay, so then press enter and it'll pull up my listing right here. So you can see I paid $15. It was retail arbitrage currently listed at um, $47.99 plus shipping. I have a sale running right now. So um, $43.19, I listed it on January 9th. And you just come to the custom label. If you hover over it, you can edit it. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put B1, submit. I'm gonna throw this into B1 and I'm just gonna rinse and repeat. So this is a bin of inventory. I'm gonna transfer as much of this into the B1 bin until there's no more room here and then move on to, you know, like C1. There's still a lot of room to work with here. 
um, E1, D1. I mean, there's still room to work with here as well. So I still got a lot of space um, until I have to start um, expanding onto this shelving unit here. But yeah, that's what my afternoon is going to look like. I'll probably cut myself off at like three so I can go home and pack all of that stuff up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed just kind of hanging out with me at the storage locker today. Um, I usually don't spend this much time here, but I'm going to spend the afternoon dedicated to uh, catching up with inventory um, and putting it into my bin system. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.